All right, come on. What do we got? Whoa, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. It's a brand new year. It is 2024, and I can't wait to kick off the new season here on 302 Fishing. We came into this new year with a limp. Uh, Josh and I actually went out on New Year's Eve. We were trying to fish for some sea bass. It was the last day of the season, and it was like no other day that we go out. I mean, we go out, we fish, we come back. Josh is at the helm, he brings the boat to the dock. I grab the cleat, I tie it off, and I get up off the boat. He goes get the truck, put the boat on the boat trailer, rock and rolling, yada yada, everything's perfectly normal, right? Well, not that day. <laughs> I get out of the boat using my left foot, that's my weak foot, and I use my right foot to push up out of the boat because it's kind of in deep inside there. I got to push myself up. And as I pushed myself up, I felt a big, huge pop on the back of my upper calf and I got dropped like a rock. And I ended up having a pretty severe pull in the back of my calf and I could not walk for days. This is the first time I could literally get out and walk with some type of semblance. I'm not 100% as of yet. I'd say about 80%. We're going to keep it really, really chill today. So we're going to kind of stand still and do our fishing here. Uh, we've got some bait uh, that'll allow us to do that, but I think I'm gonna give myself about another week and I should be up and running 100%. We got some really lofty goals that we wanna try to achieve this year, myself, Yura, and as well as Josh. Uh, we got some species that we never caught that we wanna catch this year. We wanna kinda travel further, and we got some brand new equipment on both of those boats that will help up our game. Again, thanking Josh and thanking Yura. I don't have a boat and they invite me you know at their own discretion saying hey dan come on on let's go let's go i want to go fishing so i go out with them to keep them company and of course create content which they allow me to do aboard their vessels so thank you gentlemen and uh i'm hoping uh, you guys will enjoy this year i mean i, I want to make sure we can just jump way high uh, with the subscribers this year thank you you got us to six thousand right before the end of the year i appreciate you and i noticed as soon as i turned six thousand subscribers it's been coming fast guys i'm, I'm not even kidding you uh, i couldn't believe the amount of subscribers we have over in a short period of time already just after hitting six thousand so if that's any indication of what's going going on for the rest of this year man and I have high hopes that we can uh, maybe get to 7,000 or even go further than that uh, before the end of the year. So we're going to go ahead and buckle down. We're going to go ahead and try to get some great episodes up in front of you. I'm hoping you guys enjoy your new season uh, or, again, and just enjoy watching these videos if you don't get to go out. But we're going to go ahead and thank Steve real quick before we start fishing. Uh, I want to thank him and his son. Uh, Steve, the shop was closed, but your son just happened to be there uh, driving into the parking lot, and he graciously opened up the store just for me so I can get some bait to go ahead and make this episode happen. So thank you, gentlemen. You always take care of me. I absolutely appreciate it 100%. I encourage you guys, please go to their shop. Uh, their directions and as well the name of the shop and their phone number are right there in the description field below if you decide to go there. Kind, courteous. They got everything that you would want. Repairs, rods, reels, anything, guys. I mean, they take care of you each and every time. So let me shut up. Let's get out there. Let's start casting around and hopefully we get lucky, guys, and we get our first fish on the end of the line for the year. As you can see in here, it is very, very windy out here today. It's going to prove difficult for me to try to get fish on the end of the line here, but we're going to make our best attempt to try to get the biggest, baddest winter bass out of this pond right here that we can. This has some really good bass in it uh, for a community pond. Uh, as I told you, uh, the bait of choice is going to be from Steve's. That's the live minnow that we're going to use right now. You know we uh, used the live minnows on the last full episode before the year ended out when we got out there for the yellow perch, but we got the big bull minnows to try to come out for the big old fish here on this pond right here. So I've got everything all tied up. All I gotta do is just put that minnow on the end of the line and cast it out and just play the waiting game, guys, and see if something happens today. We are working off of a front that came through yesterday, dropped a whole bunch of rain, and this pond is pretty filled up here, so I'm hoping these bass are pretty close, but we're gonna be casting out pretty far too if we're able to do so. As we're getting this minnow on, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is quite chilly. I'm trying to stay out of my winter jacket. I, I am pretty layered up. I got like three layers up underneath of this jacket here plus i got long underwear pants on and <laughs> got double socks so it's okay but we may have to get that big old jacket on a little bit later on once the, the hours go by it's one o'clock right now so again as the hours go by the temperature is going to drop i know it is but we are into winter my literature finally woke up and realized what time of the year it is 
but I'm uh, hopeful to catch one if not two bass uh, today. That's the goal. We're going to be making a move in a couple seconds. We haven't got anything in this area right here. Uh, we're going to go over to where that sewer drain is at, stand on that, and we're going to cast out towards uh, the left-hand side of the pond right there. That is the deepest part of the pond. And of course, we've got rocks right here that the fish might be next to. There's rocks down below where these two trees are at cast over. And uh, if that doesn't work, we'll slide right over here and just go right around the pond right here and see where something uh, is laying at. Uh, whatever depth it may be at, but uh, I've been watching the guy that's on the other end over here. He hasn't gotten a, a single fish yet, but I think he's using artificial on the end of his bobber right there. Let's make our move. Just curious to see if we'll catch him over there by the rocks. Looks like we got something new right here on this pond right here. This pond is famous for having the sides kind of collapsing a little bit. And I think this is something to help with that erosion. It looks like a gigantic rope that's being held in place by these big old stakes that are right along the way. But I can look, and they're all the way around the perimeter. And even I can see it from on the other side over there, too. But uh, I hope that does help out the pond and keeping its shape. Let's see if this minnow is still alive. Nope, he's floating. And we're just going to have varying depths. Over on this side, I don't think I, well I did I, many times I think I have. Right in that area right there is 15 feet deep. So I'm hoping it'll, this minnow will draw some of this fish out of that deep area. But I've caught some in the middle of winter right along the edge right here. There's rocks that are underneath here that you can't see. And of course you got that rock ledge that's right over there. Bobber went under. So we got our first bite of the year. On. Oh, that's a nice one. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, look at the size of that crappy. Oh, <laughs> that is a big old crappy, guys. Holy mess. Wowie, wow. That is a big crappy. I didn't even think there was crappy in this pond at all. Could that be a pound? I don't know. It's close. That is gigantic. Look at my hand. <laughs> <laughs> see what she weighs one pound one ounce guys holy crap <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> all right good way to start off the new year awesome 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 let's get this beautiful one pound crappy in the water and she's gone We've reeled up our minnow and bobber right here. We're going to head over to the rocks and see if there's any fish hanging around there. As we're walking along here, I'm going to tell you what one thing is not good for a stretched muscle is cold weather. My calf feels like a rock right now, the one that got injured. That minnow is still kicking. So we're going to go ahead and use him. We gotta watch out because we got a branch that's sitting right here. Let's cast right over there by those rocks. Can already see that this branch is gonna cause a problem. The line's already getting hooked up into it already. Oh, bobber's down. We got a fish on. Fish on. That's decent. What we got? Got to try to keep them away from that brush over there on the right hand side. But that didn't take long. What do we got? There we go. We got our first bass of the year. <laughs> All right. Pound, pound and a half, somewhere around that range. There you go. <laughs> we got our goal of two fish. But as I told you, they'll be sitting by those rocks. Let's get that bass on the way. There she goes. Hopefully there's big ones right over there. Move the car and we got an extra battery. Got the aeration back up and running again for these minnows. 
we're going to pop another one out there and hopefully we can catch another bass or whatever else comes along the way. But it's turning out to be a multi-species episode, obviously. But let's get that out there. I'm casting a little further out here so the wind is blowing it up towards the rocks. Out she goes. Just lay it right down there. That was fairly quick. We had that bass on there. It took maybe 10 minutes. Looks like we got a fish. Fish on. We're on. What do we got here? Feels like a bass. Oh, he just broke loose. <laughs> it was definitely a bass. I started jigging the minnow rather than let it sit static, and that's when the fish hit it. But definitely putting the uh, hook uh, towards the end of the tail here is the trick. The thing is, if you let the bobber sit static, the minnow will sit there and just barely move at all. But when you kind of jerk it a little bit, it gets them moving, and that quick little reaction that the minnow makes when it gets tugged, that's what triggers those bass. But we'll let that drift into the rocks because that's where I seem to be getting the bites is over there and that's when we'll start up the uh, jigging motion. Drifting over. You definitely got that one. That one's not going anywhere. How big is this one? It's getting pretty good head shakes. You can see the tip of my rod bouncing around pretty good. All right, come on. What do we got? Whoa, that's a decent one. Yeah, that's a decent one. Oh. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Wow, that's a good one. We're going to lead this over towards us very, very carefully. That's a good three pounder easily. He's stuck in the trees. But we'll get down there. We won't lift it. We'll somehow lip it. Look at the red lips on us in a second. Got him. <laughs> it's our first big end of the year, folks. <laughs> Nice. Right on the top of the lip. And look at how red those lips are on that bass. Wow. There's the hook right there. That is our first giant of the year. We're going to weigh that real quick, obviously. Feels like three to four pounds, maybe. <laughs> first episode of the year, folks. I got a pound crappy and a big donkey bass. Nice. Almost five pounds. Four pounds, 15 ounces. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, walk our way over here. We'll release it over there rather than throwing it and uh, causing injury to the fish. But uh, nice. <laughs> All right. Let's be gentle and get her on her way. Thank you, big mama. And off she goes. Boom, way to start it off. Super excited. I got two biggins to start off the year. Let's keep going. Still got about an hour's worth of fishing here left. I'm pretty sure I got the uh, line depth set pretty well <laughs> since we got two fish already, or actually three technically. But the first two were by the rocks, and the other one was right straight out here, way out into the open. So we're going to play that pattern again, cast it out, let the wind blow it towards the right. But as I mentioned to you earlier, when I was down on uh, the sewage drain over there, 
that is the range of bass you get from three to five pounds so that was in between those sizes but there's multiple ones in here it's not like just one lone fish now right where i'm at if not a little further ahead of me there's actually a point that comes out of these rocks right here that's underwater if I was healthy, I'd go over there and fish that point because fish like sitting on there. But again, you can see it's all rocks jagged up and down, and I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> but it will be back in this pond at least once or twice this year. It's always a good place to come to. There she goes. Oh, she moved for a quick second. Come on, take it, take it. You can see it moving around. See it moving around? There is a fish on there. You're gonna take him now. Fish on, we got him. What do we got? Came right to the top. <laughs> Gave up. <laughs> All right. A little nice bass there. Another one with some great lipstick. <laughs> really weird looking fish. He's got an odd shaped body. Look how thin he is. <laughs> Get off the fish goes. That's probably the one that was been tagging on us. What a great start to 2024, man. We got an absolute slab on the end of the line, a one pound, one ounce crappy. And of course we got that bruiser of a bass, four pounds, 15 ounces on the end of the line with those live minnows. So Steve, I want you to go ahead and thank your son for opening up the shop for a split second to get that live bait. Cause I'm pretty sure on this cold chilly day with all that wind, we probably would not even have one fish on the end of the line. So I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you very much. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed that episode. We did catch a few other bass along the way. If you liked it, guys, give me that big fat thumbs up. Of course, follow us on Instagram at 302 Fishing. Off to the right hand side, we got a video there. And if you want to visit our playlist, you can do that to your heart's content, guys. I'm hoping you guys had a great day. I hope you had a great start to your 2024 fishing season. And I can't wait to see you guys next weekend.